in a lot of places, we were approaching festival season. I am going to a festival tomorrow. And in keeping my own personal tradition of not allowing myself time for anything that I do, I kind of want to create a full outfit to wear to said festival tomorrow. So let's go. A little bit of housekeeping, just one second. If you've been subscribed to this channel and you follow me, you might have noticed that I have not posted for a month, over a month. Actually, I haven't posted in over three months. That's because of what I'm about to say and also because I kind of took a unplanned vacation and I really didn't plan it in regards to content and everything. So I'm sorry, but I'll be posting a lot, a lot, a lot from now on. So stay tuned, yay. And that is because I have been working on a specific crochet project that I just finished yesterday and I will be posting about it soon but I have 15 hours of footage so I will need a little bit of time to edit that. Also because I have only been working on this one big project for the past month and I have not been able to post a long form video, I have been posting my short form video from past projects in this very YouTube channel as shorts. Mostly things that I have been making for the past two years that I've been posting in other social media. And because I've been posting almost daily till like a couple of days ago, but only shorts, I have actually reached my goal of 10,000 subscribers. I would like 13,000 subscribers in this YouTube channel. Thank you so much if you're subscribed. I hope you really enjoyed the content that I plan on bringing here. I know that most people that subscribe did come from shorts, so I don't know how many of those people who subscribe to me are actually going to be watching this video, but regardless, I'm sure one person is watching this video, so thanks for subscribing. Comment down below anything you want to comment, things that you hope that I bring to this channel, ideas, uh, how was your day, let me know, help me out with algorithm. <laughs> Okay, that's done. That's done. Let's 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 start. I haven't sketched what I want to do yet. I have a good idea. Basically, my personal idea of festival outfit is Vanessa Hutchins on Coachella circa 2014 till 2017. The kind of like boho-y aesthetic. On top of that being like my ideal festival attire, that's kind of the vibe, the like aesthetic that I personally have loved for ages and I would love to implement in my own wardrobe to wear on the day to day. So in all of my Pinterest boards, all of my inspiration boards, the one item that has always been on it that I don't own is a handkerchief skirt. I am obsessed with the idea of a handkerchief skirt. Just a plain one or one with a little ruffles, like two layers, few ruffles in the layers. That is like my ideal skirt. But I feel like that's not a style that's like really out there in stores. My idea was to have a handkerchief skirt kind of mid length to full length um in green like an olive green i did order the green fabric but they have not arrived they might arrive today but they're probably not on top of the handkerchief skirt that i want to do i actually want to crochet me a little top and that's on delusion i like to say i like for my channel to be like an inspirational channel and like things that you can do but the one thing that you shouldn't take from me as an inspiration is the amount of time that I give myself for a project. I never give myself enough time because I'm okay with failure. I really am, unfortunately. So this is why I just say things. I, I want to crochet a top for tomorrow. Will I? Who knows? Who knows? Let me just say something. Okay, so the fabric that I wanted to use for my skirt has arrived. I actually even bought some trims in another store and I think this is what it that is for this project. So I'm so like, oh my god, I just, I actually just started filming. I'm so lucky. Things are happening. <laughs> so, green. Oh my god, they're really different. Fuck. As much as I always film things like last minute, I never not have 
the materials that I want to do. So for me, this is feeling so fake, but it genuinely just arrived. My stepfather just literally walked in here with these two packages. <laughs> Everything here has a different color. By the way, they're both named Olive. Like, they, they have the same name. That's what you get from buying fabrics online. That's why you usually go to stores. I intentionally bought mismatched shades of green, okay? I don't know if it's enough. I have never done a handkerchief skirt. And right now, I'll actually start on the crochet top. So I have options. When I bought the fabric and I thought I'm using this for the festival, I thought maybe doing a monochrome outfit. Now I know that I have too many mismatched greens. I am thinking that I should probably do something um, not green. You know what? I could, be, I could do some beads. Random, but I have these wooden beads. Wouldn't it look nice? Kind of earthy Coachella. I'm not going to Coachella, but like, or I actually have, I have another type of wooden bead and I have these charms. I don't, um, look. Oh, I think, mm. <laughs> Oh my God, yes. I'm trying to see, by the way, if I can get a needle through the beads. Ah! Success. I will be using two yarns together and pray that it's enough. No, I don't even have a pattern, but I do have ideas. I have uh, screenshotted a few tops get out. that I might use. They're all from Pinterest. So look, you, can you see not the trans, but like the top part? I want to do the like traditional top thing and then do something underneath. I saved quite a few different ones. I like the crisscross thing here. This, I like the cup thing shaped sideways. I've been seeing that and I kind of like it. The problem is I've seen people saying that it's not very supportive and I don't have the largest boobs on earth, but they're not small. I really want to make sideways, sideway cups, but I'm not sure if I should. This, I like the shape of the, the part that is not the boo part, like this kind of shape here. The cup like this, and then something like this, or something like, you know, hanging loose. I really like this kind of style. You see, like people in, this, in the comment section for this pin were saying that it's not supportive if you have a little bit of a bigger breast. <laughs> I will thread a bunch of the beads in here and I will crochet two cups. Once I have the two cups, I'll see what I do with that. <sighs> Hosier just dropped an EP. What I'm doing right here is basically adding the beads to the yarn, but because this yarn is quite thick, it doesn't go easily through the beads. The contents of the yarn go through the beads, but not just normally. So I get a needle that goes through the bead in, in its entirety, and I thread needle threader. It's basically a softer wire that will go, go through the needle head, um, but it's not like strong enough to stitch with and I use that to thread the needle and then I add the beads in the needle and through the thread and I just added them um, one of each color on the yarn like this I just added a bunch And we just need to figure out which crochet hook is best for the yarn. I'm using the two yarns together, although the beads are only on one yarn. I'm just holding them together. I just really needed to know on the top bit how many I do. I thought it was three, so good to brush up on my lack of knowledge. Hi friends. First cup is done. It took me like one hour. I could have worked a little bit better on the bead distribution system, but what is done is done. And now I'll put this exact same amount of beads on the string and start the second cup. 
Also, I kind of measured it in my body. I liked it like this. Because like this, like um, horizontal. No, not for me. It's not going to work. Here, it gets like, it's, it's a little saggy. It's not boob shape. And this works just fine. But I already have tops like this so it's a little bit different there's just like the shape goes inwards and i can work here to do like the falling bit that i want to do um as well as to go back on the strap i'm gonna i'm not going to do the second one okay so very quickly for these cups and crochet you basically do a bunch of, of chain stitches either 10 or 12 i usually do 12 but people usually say do 10 and then you do two more chains to be the first half double crochet i use half double you can use either a single or half double or you can use double crochet but that it just becomes a little bit of an open weave for bra cup that's not usually good and then you go back on those on the chains with half double crochets like one for each stitch and then when you get to the end of that, you do two chains, turn the work, and go back on this half doubles that you just did. When you get to the top, you do a cluster of half double crochets, or whatever stitch you're using, to form that round bit that will take you to the other side of the work. I did five clusters, like I did five stitches on the same stitch. The tutorial told me to do seven. I think seven is a lot. So I did five. I've seen people doing three and four as well. So I think it's a matter of your body shape, the yarn you're using, the hook size you're using. But I used five. And then you're basically going back and forth, back and forth around the top to create that bra cup shape as much as you need for your boob side. And as for the beads, you just pull the bead to where your hook is. And then you just crochet as normal, keeping the bead as tightly as possible where you're at. When you're be using beads, they all go to the, to the back side of the side you're crocheting. And you can kind of pull them to the front if you want or not. But I, I feel like if you pull them forward, it kind of makes them a little bit more sturdy in the crochet. Because even if you have a very tight grip, it still gets a little bit loose in the work so that's that so I have done both cups i automatically when i put the beads on they go to the back of the fabric so i made sure to every single time that i added the beads i did it them i did them all on the same side now i actually have to go to the meeting but then i will be back and i will start working on the rest of the top all right so for the rest of the top i did each side separately and i basically freehanded that kind of loopy squirrely technique by like just adding chains and then going around the chains and doing a clusters at the bottom i have an animation that i'm putting on screen right now as like the way that i did it in case you want to do it um i'll talk more about the top itself further along in the video but this is the general way that i did it i don't remember for sure which were half doubles and which were singles and doubles but i used all three kinds of stitches and i just don't remember in which place but that was the order of the top the way that it was made hi it has been a few hours and i just i started crocheting i just didn't stop i don't know why i did this because this is a one literally a one day pro i this is what happened I think it's all right, apart from whatever this is. But I have to do it all again. This took me, I'd say, like two hours. And I'm already tired. Like, I took an anti-allergic. And, like, I'm not, I'm kind of trippy. Make, I want to make my skirt. I don't know why I did this. I actually have to take my friend somewhere. And that's going to take, like, at least an hour. And it, it's already 8. It's 8 o'clock.
<laughs> I don't know because I don't want to not sleep tonight because I have a festival to go to tomorrow. Okay, guys, welcome to my bathroom. I will be honest, I'm not hating it, it's just weird. Basically, it goes like this, and then so it has this like <laughs> this will tie in the middle and it goes like this and i quite like the shape here i will do a little strap here to tie it i might get a green yarn and do a little detail so i don't know what my thought process was honestly i'm not sure this will go like this and here i will probably do like a little crisscrossed like tied back here with a couple of strings i'll probably just do like eye cords and have them here literally why like why i should have just started from here till here and just done like a strap i'm hoping to um do the other one and kind of finish the top tonight i didn't do anything else that night so whatever i was gonna say is irrelevant but i did finish the top just like so incorporating it a bit and adding chain stitches and a cross in that little gap in the side and then i the next morning i woke up and did the second cup good morning i didn't in fact finish it last night and i woke up this morning and i did my second boob i hate using this mannequin because she's a lot skinnier than me it is quite late it's now 11 and i want to leave no later than 2 p.m ish i do still have the delusional idea that I will be making a skirt. It is raining, which is unfortunate because it probably will be raining at the site of the festival. And sometimes, depending on the rain, they cancel shows because they cannot run on rain. And if they cancel, the attractions that I'm going to specifically, I am going to murder someone! I won't actually get peaceful, but I'll be really mad. I will now be machine knitting a eye cord. My idea is to put eye cord here on the top and then go back and do the crisscross with the same cord. So I want to have two long eye cords. It's really fast because it's machine. Yes, machine knitting is faster than hand knitting. No, I am not cheating because I am not competing with anyone. Don't feel like life is a competition it's just some craft it's just some arts and crafts four needles that's all you need and then you do one row needles forward two rows needles forward three rows and then you can already press one of the part but oh, one of the part buttons either is fine uh, what will happen is one of the sides won't knit so, so every time the carriage goes from here to here it doesn't knit so the yarn gets caught here and it starts creating the loop it knitted here and now it won't knit and i'm putting pressure here because it cannot hold the weight like this see and it didn't knit so it will get it here and it starts looping like a night cord. I don't know what else. Actually, I know. Just more. Yay. Tying it to the twops of the twops. And now I will crisscross it here. I didn't actually do spaces for the cord to get in through. It's crochet. So it's. Ah, don't fall. Don't fall. Here. Okay, there we go. Now let's see if it um, functions in a body that is not this thin. That's my body. As we all know, I didn't really do this with anatomy in mind. 
and it shows. I will use it. I will wear it. I will just like crisscross it more so it's not like this. I had to do a little eye cord for here because this shape does in fact not suit boobs. It's almost noon. I really want to try and make this skirt. The skirt that I want to do is like literally the easiest skirt I could possibly think of making. It has to be a square. I should just do it like this, but then I have to measure the middle and do the circle here. No, 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 no. No, I'm gonna waste my I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing it wrong. It's going to be here. Yeah, so how much do I have of a waist? So 85 divided by pi. How much is pi? Where's my phone? So 27. Isn't that too much? Should I research it better? 27. Oh no, I should definitely research it better. This is not it. Okay. Yeah, that's better. No caution. Caution is out of the question. Okay. Okay. Maybe I did it too small. I've never been so reckless with sewing. Oh, did it. Fuck yeah. So, oh, I like it. So it will be two layers and the bottom layer will be sheer. Oh no, this will not work. In theory, a handkerchief skirt's quite easy. It's just a circle skirt, but cut in a square. But when I was making it, it was kind of hard. What you're doing, basically, you have your big piece of fabric, you fold it in half, and then you fold it in half again. And you're cutting a little circle in the middle so that you can get in <laughs> the skirt. That circle, I prefer, I know I said waist, but it's better to do the hip measurement so that you can in and out just fast and you can add an elastic to cinch it in the waist. And that measurement is your hip measurement divided by two times pi, two times pi is 6.28 ish. Um, and that is, that forms the circle. And you just have to remember as well that this diagonal here, that cannot be longer than your, you know, wherever your skirt's sitting at, your, your waist, till the ground. So this is the biggest you can make your square. And then you can make a smaller one for, for it to be smaller, but the circle has to always be the same and that diagonal cannot be bigger than the overall length of the skirt. Once you cut this, it's actually quite straightforward. You basically have to hem it and do a waistband. I do run into some problems with time in just a second, but yeah, that's the overall vibe. Oh, did it. Circle in the middle of the fabric. <sighs> All right. Trim here. All right, no explanation, went straight into it. Basically, I'm going to do the hem in everything, all four corners of all squares, and this fabric is very, very, very thin and annoying to hem, and I was having a hard time. Also, the thread color that I had didn't match. I was saying, I actually hate sewing. I really hate sewing. And I'm feeling under the weather. I'm going to get rained on. I'm going to um, style my crochet top. And I will actually style it with the green pants that I made. And because I made it, I probably do have footage of it. Okay, hi. Don't expect makeup from me. But I kind of want to do something with my hair. But I don't know if I should. And I'll, okay, so I'll make it. So I want to get a little piece. I don't want to do this. You can imagine how it looks. Okay, this is an absolutely monumental disaster. First of all, this is the absolute worst shape of anything for my bra size like what is 
this my hair i gave up i'm wearing these boots now the pants with the boots i don't mind too much obviously i would love a good like tall brown boot but i don't have that so i think the rain boots are fine they're transparent but i put like a beige um sock on and it looks all right this is just like a chain i added here on the belt loops i did actually um add a little bit of a string here to uh, make the strings go a little bit like this um this is it i don't like i think the idea for the bra is all right it just doesn't work it's not working this jacket i might just take a normal bra with me i might just change i don't know but this is what is happening um i'm late also just normal bag i'm gonna put my stuff here very underwhelming maybe i'll come back with something else but this is how i'm going to go to the festival no it was not i'm wearing this crochet top that my mom made for me and this is the final outfit and a moment of silence for hosier live hey so this video was a partial fail because i didn't do it for the festival but i still want to have the final design that i had in mind so let's do it okay so the top looks really bad on me i think the overall idea is good like okay but it's really bad the only good thing is as i'm showing you it ties from the front and that's kind of good crochet tops when you tie them on your neck they kind of start coming undone and getting loose and that's annoying and everything else on the top kind of sucks the shape is really bad for me i had to get an extra string and tie it on the front for the bust to be okay on me and when i do that it creates some tension line on the boob and it looks really ugly it just it makes my chest look very bad for my better shape that's actually really bad on top of that i also had to add an extra little string on the strings on the spaghetti straps on the back so that the bra didn't go so far into my armpit and went a little bit into the middle of my body as you're seeing here so overall it's a really bad top and that's why i'm frogging it and i will use the cuffs to do something else i will never gravitate towards this top ever and i have a small coverage crochet top that i wear almost bi-weekly i do risk showing areola with that one but still i gravitate towards it because it holds my boobs here Okay, so let's talk about how this top actually happened. I did add the beads to the string and I started doing double crochets in the bottom of the cup. And yes, I'm using them upright like they're supposed to be. I did a whole roll in the bottom of one of the cups. I did two chains and then I started working on the second cup. So I would be working with them as one side to side. I do wish I had done only one chain crochet in the middle in between them instead of two. But that's what i did i did add when i was doing the beads i did a few in one color and then a few in the other color so i would do one roll with just green and then the other roll with just the yellowish and then the other roll with just green i thought of that before after doing this strap in the bottom i started adding kind of a strap to the side slash back i did it a little bit longer than the strap side i went all the way to the cup i just did half double crochets to a, a size that i thought it was ideal and then i started doing half double crochet half double crochet chain skipping a stitch half double crochet half double crochet to do these like gaps i have no idea why i did that but i did that after that i still really like the squiggly bottom in the original top that didn't work out so i started adding them to this top just to the bottom i did a few slip stitches and then i did chains till a, a size that i wanted went back with single crochets slip stitched a few stitches to the side and then i did the scallop where you do double crochets keep a couple of stitches and do double crochet to the same stitch a few times so it goes around and then i did a few slip stitches and i started doing that gradually and then I started going back with double crochets, back and forth, and until the length width that I desired. After doing that, I did add an outline, I guess, in green. I used a thinner thread, a thinner yarn in green, and I did use a thinner needle. I'm using a 3mm crochet hook. 
and I wanted to add the beads to this um, squiggly bit and I didn't think of that before so I just added them with a needle and thread secured them with a couple passes around it And then I wanted to add this little scalloped lacy edge, but I didn't really like it, so I took it off. I added the same eye cord that I did for the previous top. I stringed it just like the way that I did without tying it on the back, just going straight from the cups till the lace back. I tried it on, it was a bit too open in the middle of my chest, so I did a few rows of just joining this middle bit, joining them together so they weren't so stretched apart. And because the top was a bit kind of small for me, it stretched when I was using it and it was a bit see-through. So I added this jersey knitty fabric. It's kind of, I think I bought it to make bikinis. I never did bikinis, but I bought that for the reason. And I cut them roughly the size of the cups. I folded them, just folded once inside the borders. And then I hand stitched with a normal thread all the way around did take me a while but i think it looks really nice look at it uh, and me thinking i was going to do this in one day oh it doesn't take that long but it takes long you know what i mean because i didn't want to go through all the other side and it's just me showing the straps i don't tie them in the back just go straight from the top of the cup to the lace bit without tying it on the neck Now let's do the dream skirt. I didn't do anything to it. So what I have are those big squares and the dark green one's kind of too big, but I'll get to that in just a second. Two squares, fold over, fold over, cut the circle in the middle, and that's what I have. Those pieces of fabric plus a piece of fabric to do the waistband. Good morning. Let's do this. I own a overlocker machine. Therefore, I will make use of it. The thing about doing the hem in that very thin fabric is that it's annoying. At least with the overlocker, it will be a little bit faster. Let's try this out. Let's go. Well, it's certainly not Good. Tension up or tension down? I just don't know what the issue is. So, because I don't know, I cannot fix it. So I didn't use the overlocker because I wasn't figuring it out. But because this fabric is too thin, I did the hem in the most roundabout way possible. I folded it once, stitched all four corners of all squares, and then I folded it again and stitched it again. In the middle of doing that, I decided that I was going to do a waistband. I do not know what I was doing. I just don't understand looking back what I was trying to do. I tried to stitch the elastic straight to the fabric. I don't know what I was trying to do but it didn't work out so I'm not even gonna try to explain that skip that I did the two the hems in the two squares and then I added the trim the lace bits on top of the hems so I folded once stitched folded twice stitched and then I added lace through the right side of the fabric and stitched again in case that was confusing I drew it out to make it even worse basically you hem the four sides of the square however you see fit I know you can do a rolled hem as well just don't know how to do that and then you add the lace but cut the sides worth of lace just a little bit beyond so that you can finish the lace by like just joining them at a little bit beyond where the fabric is don't try to like fold them around the corners because that doesn't work now building the handkerchief skirt it's quite straightforward you mismatch the squares like this and then you add the waistband now i'm doing it in the wrong way and i'll tell you how to do it right in just a second but once you cut that hole in the middle of your fabrics before you do all of those hems try it out in your body and see if the length's all right i just kept denying 
to myself that it was too long. Yes, but like it's way too long. I am cutting it here. Yes, I'm cutting it in this weird way that I'm showing on screen, but that's just insane. You basically have to cut around the whole square like I advised a few hours ago at this point to make that diagonal the size of your body, the size that you need the, the scar to be. I am going insane. I just finished my skirt. Sewing is not my forte. Sewing machine is just like that thing that for me, I'm always like, mm, I can do it. I look at a clothing at the store, I'm like, I can do that because it's sewing and so it's like really basic. Cause like I do knit. So knit is like self hemming. I don't technically need to do hems. And literally everything in sewing, it's making a hem today. My whole day was doing hems. I just did hem. Also, I don't know how to do a waistband. <laughs> An elastic waistband. That's the easiest thing that you can do in your sewing projects. I just don't know how to do it. In my mind, I always do, like, I do a sandwich and then turn it over and around itself um, below the seams that I just did and stitch on the ditch to close it shut without a visible seam which is not wrong i don't think that's i don't think that's wrong i just don't think that's necessary for the day to day so i did a good old fashioned just closed it normally and then did an overlocker now talking about the festival that that's what this video is about I couldn't have done this in that day, but this, I could have done it in last time that I did. I think I took a total of like 9 or 10 hours to make this because I redid a bunch of things that took me long. Literally every single thing, like the, the hem on the longest skirt, the, the waistband, I pinned it like three times. So it was like a bunch of experimentation that I'm not sure if I was in the rush that I was in to make this outfit for a festival. I probably wouldn't have gone through this much like tweaking and, and fixing it and like doing it right. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's better than it would have been if I did it on a rush. All of that being said, this could, can be done, I think, in like four to six hours. I did it in 10. Also, my brain stopped working a bunch. So this, <laughs> I don't know. I basically inserted the, the elastic through this seam here, which I don't think I should have done. I should have just done it through this seam. <laughs> I should have done it to, through this seam here, but I did it through this seam and I had to like hand stitch it. <laughs> I, I started in a way and then I continued with another way and then in the back I did a whole third way. So this is like a very, like it changes its way because I'm not a hand sewer. Yes, I'm doing a third recap on the handkerchief skirt because of the waistband. So you're, you got your fabric folded twice, <laughs> measure, see if it's a square. And then this is how you're measuring the circle. So you're getting the measurement, the um, hip divided by two times pi through the corner to like the point you saw that that's how you do it and then you do the same measurement for the second layer if you're doing a second layer and then see you do the hems to fold it twice or whatever and now you put the trim the little lace and you leave it hanging a little bit forward so you can like close it like this this is what i meant measure that hole that you're putting your, your your body through make a little strap that is two times the width of the elastic that you're using plus you know a couple of centimeters for the seam allowance and then you're going to add a third layer of that like lace it, everything is up so right side up right side up up lace right side up 
and then this is how you're supposed to do for the easy version not the like hot couture fold your waistband and just sew it like this everything together and then you put the elastic through that little the waistband and then you shut it. it it's not supposed to be that hard and it looks fine hi right, friends <laughs> one day for a crochet top one long day for this skirt let's try it on <laughs> The audio in the next clip was really really bad that's why i'm doing a voiceover what i'm saying is basically that i had this idea of doing an extra layering piece for this project i wanted to knit something to cover my arms and chest a little bit not really for modesty but because it was kind of cold so that's what i'm about to do next since i'm finishing the whole thing i'm going to do a basic sleeve here is a one panel long sleeve top i never know how to call them but this kind of sleeve cropped long sleeve pattern that i do is quite basic pattern wise it's basically this shape with a little hole in the middle for the head i have a three-part video series explaining how i make this kind of long sleeve top if you have a knitting machine and you want to get into doing something i think that series is really nice because i explain it quite profoundly i not oh, i don't always explain well my knits on these videos because i want to make them entertaining and short and i'm never able to but the explaining the step by steps of the machine takes a while i'm going to use this yarn that i use to make the details and i'm also going to add a a gold because you know why not add a scratchy gold yarn to every single thing that you do i want to do every other needle so that i have like an open weave I'm wondering if I should do the separate neckline. So it started raining just like on the day of the festival. I am 
warm but the gold thread is a little bit itchy it's not that elastic so it's you know if it's okay this is how i would have liked to have gone to the festival with the jacket on top because it was very cold and here's some more photos of the final look Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, music, doo -doo -doo, copyright music, free music, copyright free music, Woo -hoo. yay, la la And here is how it could look low waisted. I know a lot of people would prefer to wear it like this. I personally don't love um, low waisted on myself, I'm just not comfortable with it. But I get that a lot of people would prefer to wear it like this. And yay! So the moral of this video is, no, I couldn't have done this outfit <laughs> in one day for the festival. I think if you would like to do a outfit like this, maybe plan a weekend, you can do like the long sleeve and start the cups of the crochet on one day. And then you can do the rest of the crochet in another day. And then you can do the skirt on a third day. I think this is very doable on a week afternoon. 34 hours every day let me know if you like it let me know if it's an outfit you would wear to a festival let me know if you don't think this is a festival look at all let me know if you're going to any festivals this year let me know something comment something down below because it helps me out with engagement and i like to know what people are thinking when they watch my videos anyway um consider subscribing to the channel consider liking the video this was very fun and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully very, very soon. Bye-bye!